I'd next like to introduce IOC Vice President and President of WADA, Sir Craig Reedy. David, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. First of all, let me congratulate Lou Redner on his absolutely outstanding piece of research, uh, and particularly into the career and statistics of the honoree this afternoon. Honor, you would be pleased to hear they're much better than my research, uh, but no less uh, serious, I can tell you. I enjoyed watching that video. I've seen it before because it's all about uh, education. Uh, WADA is involved in education. Anna has been committed to education. The international federations have a duty to educate, uh, but it, it really is an outstanding effort and uh, the world of anti-doping is grateful to you. I haven't yet quite given up my financial responsibilities in WADA, so I was quite interested in the statement that we do small grants. Well, we have 15 regional anti-doping organizations all around the world, and if, since the United States market is at an all-time high, if you're feeling particularly generous, speak to Rob Kiva, he'll be very happy to be Now, there have been two very distinguished recipients of, of, of this award at the, uh, at the, the last two games. I was fortunate enough to be in Vancouver when you honored Dick Pound. And Dick, in his own wonderful way, managed to link a humanitarian award uh, for global sports development with his capacity as a tax lawyer. And how Dick managed that, only Dick knows, and I don't think he's here, but I look forward to asking him to remind me. Your second honoree, Phil Craven, uh, I know very well, who has uh, led and developed a movement uh, to really outstanding uh, delivery of service to people uh, all around the world. And many things that Philip will be, uh, one is the recipient of a humanitarian award, but a tax lawyer is not one of them. <laughs> so with those two distinguished honorees, Anna, the standard this year is, in my view, uh, even higher. Uh, your distinguished CV I have reduced to one or two highlights. High jumping in 1952, well over, well, over two meters, um, and these were the days before nobody had invented a, a, a Fosbury spot. Uh, I think it was called an Eastern Cut-Off. Yeah, or scissors. There we go. Uh, or the scissor action, uh, probably into wet sand. Yes. Uh, so perhaps at the end of the day they say, no, no, it doesn't explain anything. <laughs> <laughs> But if you move on to sports administration involved in Swedish sports since 1973, the IWF since 1972, the IOC since 1987, WADA since 1999, uh, and still, as I can see, involved in almost all of them, and just as enthusiastically uh, as ever before. And also a distinguished academic uh, record and career based on the Karolinski Institute uh, in, in, in Stockholm. Somebody once described him to me as the father of anti-doping. Well, I don't know about you, Anna, but at my age I'd be quite pleased to be called the father. <laughs> <laughs> but I know that in the Lucas family there are already uh, two boys uh, and a daughter. I have to say that this man has always given me very very wise advice. He's always been a very good friend, even when I fairly strongly disagreed uh, with the, or he disagreed with my allocation of research money from one of for the current year. But I think it's worth mentioning that over a period from 1999, over 60 million dollars uh, has been invented in anti has been invested in anti-doping research all around the world. And it's almost all down to Arthur's enthusiasm and drive and telling the treasurer to get out of the way and not to cause any more trouble. So I think that this award is hugely important. Uh, I think it is impossible to believe that you could ever give it, and Stephen have given it to anybody who is more deserving. And like all of us are proud to be here, Arthur. And we salute you.